let's get started with this presentation of the caramel morph and hog nose snakes. And so this is a recessive gene and it's very similar in looks to the toffee belly gene, but one of the distinguishing characteristics of the caramel gene is the reduced head stamp, which you can really see in the snake that's on the left hand side. So now with that being said, showing you just the regular version of the caramel gene, let's actually add some combinations and we're gonna start off with the incomplete dominant gene, the anaconda. And so the picture on the left hand side, you see this is a caramel anaconda, so the caramel gene with a reduced pattern. And then on the right hand side, you have a caramel superconda. So the caramel gene with almost a completely reduced pattern or complete lack of pattern. And so now we're going to do the, our first combination with the caramel gene and another recessive gene. And so this is the caramel albino, also known as the ultra male. And these are two good examples of them. And now we can combine the caramel albino with the conda gene, which reduces the pattern. As you can see, this is a caramel albino conda. And if we take it one step further, we're gonna completely reduce the pattern with the caramel albino superconda. All right, and so on this slide, this is actually the caramel albino arctic. And then actually on the left-hand side, you have the caramel albino arctic conda. So that combination with a reduced pattern. And then on the right-hand side, you just have the caramel albino arctic. For some reason, I could not find a picture of just the caramel arctic. I'm pretty sure that they have been produced, especially if we have these two specimens right here with the albino gene attached to it. But for some reason, scouring the internet, I was not able to find a picture of that combination. All right, and so our next combination in regards to the caramel gene combined with another recessive gene is the caramel hypo, also known as the frosted. And this is gonna be a very important combination for the rest of my morph combinations that I'm gonna display in this slideshow. So remember this, whenever I use the term frosted, I'm referring to a visual caramel hypo. And when I, would, when I talk about hypo, I'm pretty much talking about the Evans hypo or the Dutch hypo. All right, and so this is what a frosted superconda looks. So the previous snake with a completely reduced pattern. And so now let's start looking at some more combinations. So I showed you earlier what the caramel and albino looks like, the ultra male. So now let's combine the frosted, which is the caramel, hypo, and albino. So the snake I'm about to show you is a visual three recessive gene animal. So when you combine these three genes, you get a frosted albino. And I love the pattern on this snake. It looks like it has a tiger pattern. All right, and so our next combination, we're gonna go back to the frosted as well. So the caramel hypo, and then we're gonna combine it with a newer recessive gene called the pistachio. And so when you do this combination right here, you get this, a frosted pistachio. Very cool looking snake, very unique. All right, so now we're gonna go back to just the caramel gene and we're gonna combine that with the sable. So two recessive genes, and when you combine those two together, you get a snake called the toasted caramel. So very cool combination. I think a lot of people are gonna start producing this combination uh, this year in 2021. Now let's take it a step further and we're gonna use the frosted morph again. So the caramel hypo and we're gonna combine that with the sable. And when you combine these three recessive genes, you get what's called a permafrost. So this is a very pretty hognose snake. And I actually saw this one in person at the Daytona Reptile Expo. Um, the breeder named Mitch Davey from Fathom Hogs, he actually had a baby permafrost on display. All right, next we're gonna go back to the caramel and we're gonna combine the caramel gene with the exanthic. So whenever you do this combination, you get a caramel exanthic. And then if you wanna take it a step further and you add the anaconda gene to it, you'll get a caramel exanthic anaconda. 
right? So let's take it a step further. So we're gonna go on back to the frosted gene, caramel hypo. We add exanthic. So this is another three recessive visual animal. You get this snake right here called a Casper. So caramel hypo exanthic. All right, going back to the caramel again, we're gonna combine that with the lavender gene. And this produces this snake right here, the caramel lavender, which was first produced in 2020. And then if we take it a step further and we combine, we add the hypo gene, we produce another snake that was produced for the first time in 2020, the frosted lavender, which is probably one of the most unique hog nose snakes in terms of looks that we have right now. So basically those are all the combinations for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Right, and if you want to see my other videos that I've made on a different morph, all you have to do is just go to my channel and if you want, you can scroll down and I have it under a playlist called Morph Showcase or you can go up top and click playlist, find the Morph Showcase, click the full playlist right here and you'll see all my videos right here where I talk about the different morphs. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to the channel, like, and leave a comment, and I'll see y'all for the next one.